Hi everyone, how are you today? I sit here in the very quiet Turk family Ben Midrash at York University as the students are in the throngs of exams. I've been thinking and reflecting upon the year that was. And I just want to share with you an insight and a thought that pertains to the holiday of Pesach, specifically where we all gather with our families and our friends at the Seder next week. One thing that dawned on me was the idea of saying thank you. Thank you is such a difficult thing to do, so hard to really accomplish. And when we think about the famous song Dayenu, what does it really mean? What is it that we're really singing and praising God for? What is it that we should be really thinking about in our terms of our own lives? Dayenu, the words are, you know, if God would have taken us out of Egypt, and goes through 15 different stages, and a couple of stages are very strange if God would have taken us out of Egypt. And in the process, you know, brought us to the Yamsuf, brought us to the water, and he wouldn't have split the sea. Dayenu would have been enough. Really? Is that really true? Wouldn't have been enough? What are you talking about? We would have drowned if God wouldn't have split the sea. The enemies were right behind us. They were chasing us. They were at our backs. They were going to drive us into that sea. Had that sea not split in half, what does it mean, Dayenu, that would have been enough? And similarly, you know, later on in the passage, it says, if God would have taken us to our sin or given us the Torah, Dayenu would have been enough. Enough, enough, enough. It would have been enough. Dayenu, Dayenu, Dayenu. But is that really true? It would have been enough, what, to go to Harsina and not get the Torah? Almost appears a waste of time. Jewish people weren't going to receive the Torah. The book that changed the world forever? You mean to tell me it really would have been enough? It's a fallacy. Who are we trying to trick? Who are we trying to, you know, deceive and singing? It would have been enough. But it wouldn't have been. I think the idea is, what's the theme of the Seder? The theme of the Seder is saying thank you. And what would have been enough? It would have been enough for us to be obligated in saying thank you. You see, in life we think we only thank someone at the end. You thank your parents for being under the chuppah. You thank God at the 15th stage when the temple, when the Beit HaMikdash is finally built. But that's not true. It's wrong. You have to thank God. You have to thank people every step along the way. Step one, step two, step three. In the case of Dayenu, every step would have been enough for us to be obligated to thank the Rebono Sha'ogam, to thank God. That's what the 15 stages of the you know, I think, really represent. That is the theme of the night of the Seder. People sometimes say, you know, why is it that, you know, the state of Israel, it's not perfect. It's true it's not perfect, but we are so obligated to thank God, even for something which isn't perfect. That's the message of the you know, That is the message of life. And so I want to say thank you to everyone. It is definitely not the end. It's just the end of a process, the end of the stage, the end of this official school year. But there's so much more still to come. We have the spring, we have the summer, we're going to roll it in next year as well. I want to thank you to the students, I want to thank you to the parents, the community members. I want to thank our partners, Hill of Greater Toronto and the Orthodox Union, for allowing GLIC to be so successful, and to be so relevant in the lives of so many young men and women in our community. And I just hope we continue and we go from strength to strength and our family to yours you have a wonderful, happy and enjoyable Pesach. Chag Pesach Kasher Sameach. Thank you so much for everything.